Hello, 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 and welcome to Pontothon number 39, y'all. How y'all doing out there? It is another wonderful Wednesday. This is our second show, y'all, second season. We decided to come back and uh, try to continue where we left off last year. You know, we ran until probably around November of last year. Um, I tell you, the holiday season was unbelievable. To the, I mean, to be honest with you, I couldn't keep up with it. So in December, I shut it down because I was about to wear myself out. But here we are again. We're going to try to keep it going. Um, you know, the last couple of weeks have been really great. A lot of nice things happening. A lot of nice projects get ready to go down. I uh, got some nice responses to the last show. Thank you all for joining and spreading the word. Uh, we're trying to learn new things and present new things. So um, we're really trying to welcome our new audience members. So, you know, feel free to chime in and uh, let us know how you're doing. This is going to be a pretty creative year for me. I got a lot of projects going on that I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a little later on. But, um, yeah, how y'all doing out there? How's everybody doing? Hey, Debbie Allen, how you feeling out there? You know, now we can put all the comments on the screen. So if you've tuned in, feel free to chime in. We will put you on screen so we can keep up with what's happening there. But I want to try to be able to communicate a little better with folks. You know, the way we were doing it before, I really couldn't even engage. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to keep up with that. But yeah, we got some new features here on the show. Hopefully you guys will love it. Um, my man Lavalet is out there. How is he doing? Man, Lavalet is my man. You know, he has been doing um, the Black Artist Marketplace on a fantastic job with them. We know we all support each other. And um, if you want to see a, a wonderful show, this man has been lining up 15 artists and doing six six hours. And whew, him and Ella, they be doing the thing. I've been on the show a couple of times. But look, check. make sure you check out BAM, Black Artist Marketplace. We will be doing some advertising for all of our friends. What's happening, James Red, my man from Baltimore? How y'all holding up out there? So look, y'all. Hopefully, y'all got your shots. Uh, I'm still on the fence. I'm going to wait a little bit till things get a little better. We're going to talk about the house rules first, y'all. So the house rules are fairly simple. Uh, we got a couple of exceptions to the rules. Some of our uh, so one thing might change on the show. One thing might change the show, and that's the shipping. You know, UPS is beginning to charge. Hey, Terry, how you doing? UPS is beginning to charge a little more, so we may not be able to handle the $10, but for right now, until we just can't handle it anymore, this is the um, this is what we got, okay? You can place the item number and the word sold in the comment section, okay? That's the basic rules. Com item number, comment section, the word sold. Why this word sold? Because, you know, sometimes people have the piece or they like the piece and they put the number down and we ship it out to them. And then they go, oh, I didn't order anything. Well, this is uh, the chat stream is really uh, for sales when the show starts. So, I mean, I don't mind answering questions. I want you guys to engage as much as you can. But that's why we want the word sold behind it, because we know that's a two part commitment. OK, then the most important thing is that you're going to inbox us your email address and shipping address. And uh, you can send it to the Art of Poncho on Facebook, and we will send you a PayPal invoice. So we've got the show on my personal page, my business page, and we also are airing on YouTube. So, you know, we will find you. But if you do not give us your email address, it's going to be very, very hard. So those are the basic house rules. As far as the shipping goes, y'all, it's $10 flat rate shipping per package. If you got two different items that won't fit in the same two, look, we pride ourselves on packing your work properly. Okay, so I'm not going to try to mash everything into one tube just so you can get it for $10, okay? So it's $10 per package, but know that shipping may be increasing in the next couple of weeks, okay? So those are the basic house rules, y'all. That's pretty cut and, cut and dry and simple. Um, I got my man, Barton Hatcher. He's in the house. This man is bad right here, boy. I, mean, I got some artist friends. I got a circle of artist friends that's phenomenal, and Barton Hatcher happens to be one of them. What's up, Pamela Isley? She got her some coloring pages, y'all. So look out. You can use um, markers, pencils, crayons, whatever you want, whatever you feel. I think I might throw a, 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 a coloring contest, see who got the best piece. So, yeah. 
So yeah, we, that's what's going on, y'all. We getting ready to get back into the show and get started. You know, we always try to start low and go high. Here we go. Item number one for the show today, y'all. Here we go. This is item number one. Item number one is the buy black art pen. You know, you might want to show folks what you're all about. Lay it, wear it on your lapel, put it on your backpack, put it on whatever else you want to put it on and get, let people know that you are into buying black art. It is so important and everybody in the world right now is vibing on black art. So why not let them know that you are already invested by black art. This pen measures about two inches. It only costs three dollars, y'all. So if you want to buy black art pen, just go ahead and put item number one and sold, and that piece will be added to your package, y'all. Now, remember, everything you order here on Ponchothon, you get something free. You order one thing, you get one thing free. You order three things, you get three things free. You order five things, well, you get the message. We pride ourselves on sharing, 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 y'all. So what happens is we're trying to encourage other people to share. And, and I have had some people that ordered 10 pieces, man. They had their whole Christmas sewed up. They was able to give their friends art. And we want to try to start gifting art to people. You know, we are reclaiming our culture. Uh, for a while there, we were slipping with all the technology and all the things that were happening. So, yeah, y'all, share, share, share. Item number two, y'all, is the BLM sticker, the Black Lives Matter sticker. This is on a transparent background, so you can actually put this on a, your water bottle or something like that. If you want item number two, just put number two and sold and the blm sticker will be coming your way that's right y'all item number three something we have called the autograph art card set it's a, a set of four by six inch postcards that have all been signed so the whole package is autographed these make really nice little gifts here to put inside of a greeting card or to frame up if you want item number three, the autograph art card set, they sell for $5 for all five. It comes a half a dozen in a package. Just put item number three and sold. Any autograph card set will be coming your way. Now, you know, we try our best to uh, sign most of the pieces that are here. So, you know, if you are interested in pieces here, most of the stuff we will be will be signed by yours truly, but this particular set is already signatured. Item number three and sold in this piece will be coming your way. Item number four is we're in a mini print section here. These pieces measure eight and a half by 11. Uh, this one is titled Ebony and Ivory. It normally sells for $10. Today you can get Ebony and Ivory for just $8, y'all. This will come signed by yours truly. You need that little piece you got that little quiet corner that don't have no lights. It's got light switches and all that kind of stuff in it. This piece is perfect. It'll add some music to the room. Item number four. Just put item number four in sold. And Ebony and Ivory, the mini print, will be yours for just $8. It measure eight and a half by 11. Item number five. Item number five is something titled Sister, the mini print. She's eight and a half by 11 also. These will also come signed by me. You want a little strong sisters, you know, these small spaces, everybody say, I don't have any more wall space. I don't have any more wall space. Yeah, you got wall space. You got all those little small spaces on your wall that's not being utilized. So the mini prints all measure up to like, they will frame up to 11 by 14. And even if you want to go eight by 10 with that, it'll look great inside of a small frame. You can get frames from anywhere. You can get them from Ikea, Walmart, any of your favorite places. Item number five, if you want sister, the mini print, just put number five and soul and sister will be added to your package item number six item number six is another mini print entitled africa adorned africa adorned is uh, eight and a half by 11. Uh, they normally sell for ten dollars on poncho thon number 39 you can get item number six for just eight dollars just eight dollars y'all just put item number six and sold and that piece will be coming your way. Item number seven is a piece called Twins. You know, I, I lost a set of twins in 1986. Their names were going to be Crystal and Christine. Very difficult, challenging time. This was one of the first limited editions I put out when I first launched my career as an artist. It was the first one I spent big bucks to print. And um, so this piece resonates. The first 
print was sold in Art Expo and um, a, a sister duo was looking at the piece at the Art Expo and they were both kneeling down looking at it. And then they turned around at the same time and said, we want this. And they were twins. So number one and number two of the signed and numbered edition, which is totally sold out, was sold to a set of twins, the Buffaloes in Washington, D.C. Twins, the mini print, only sells for $8. It's normally $10. You can get that today. Item number seven and sold. And twins will be coming your way. You know, sometimes... You know, these things have a story, and I like to throw the little stories in there. Item number eight, y'all, it's called a shira. I do a lot of pieces that are based on African masks. And this is one of those pieces, but this is a small, intimate little piece. It measures eight and a half by 11, but it frames up to a really nice size, 11 by 14. If you want and you like this piece, a shira, it's got a lot of blues and some earth tones in it, just put item number eight and sold, and a shira will be coming your way. Item number nine. Item number nine is a very popular piece, part of my dance series. I am currently working on a catalog of all of my dance pieces. While artists were doing jazz pieces to appeal to the masses, I was doing dance pieces to appeal to the masses. So I have amassed probably about maybe 15 to 20 images in that dance series. And uh, we're going to be doing that in a catalog real soon. You know, we've got a lot of exhibition catalogs that really show a good cross-section of the work. If you like number nine, just put item number nine and sold and sidestepping will be added to your package. All right, y'all, we're getting to the matted microprint section. These pieces all measure eight by ten. Comes with a mat on it. All you got to do is pop it into a frame. Put it in that little lonely corner you got. This one is entitled Peaceful Brother, the Matted Microprint. It sells matted for $10, y'all. Just $10. Item number 10. If you want this matted mini print called Peaceful Brother, and you know we need a couple of those. Matter of fact, he look kind of like me. Wait a minute. Am I doing it right? Okay. Item number 10, y'all. If you like that piece, put item number 10 and sold in Peaceful Brother. The microprint matted will be coming your way. Item number 11 is a nice little piece. You know, I love to sneak purple in some stuff. This piece right here is entitled Tropicana. Tropicana is a 8x10 micro prints. It's been, it's, all of these pieces come signed. They fit into an 8 by 85 by 11 frame or 8x10 frame. If you like the colors in this, you know, I, I just like royal colors. I, mean, I, I sneak purple in a lot of stuff. Item number 11, y'all. If you like that piece, just put item number 11 and sold in the matted micro print entitled Tropicana will be coming your way. Item number 12. You know, I had a big fire in my studio in 1995. And um, I lost everything. It was a disaster, total disaster, worst case scenario. And so people kept saying, oh, Larry, I can't wait to see how your work is going to change as a result of this traumatic loss. And I pretty much was like rebelling against that. So this was the first piece I did to kind of uh, play the game, as more or less. And all I did was use all of the colors I saw in fire. It was part of a dance piece. I want to let folks know I wasn't going to change that much, but actually I did. Uh, but this is that piece. It's called Phoenix Rising. That's why it's titled Phoenix Rising, because that's exactly what I had to do to kind of rebound from that situation. Item number 12, y'all. If you like that piece, just put item number. comes with a gold mat, y'all. That looks really nice framed up. Item number 12, just put item number 12 and sold. It will be yours for just $10 already matted. It comes pre-matted. Item number 12 and sold. And that piece, Phoenix Rising, will be coming your way. Item number 13, y'all, is... Um, you know, we get a lot of pieces from people that um, people like housewares, and we're beginning to do more houseware stuff. So this is something fun we decided to do. Item number 13 is a piece entitled The Power. The Power. But we did it as a key holder. How do you like that? It measures 6 by 10 inches. It has enough room for four keys. Now, I'm going to tell you, I designed it as a key holder. It comes signed. See the big signature on it? It's mounted on plywood. 
hang it on your wall and dispose of your keys in that little weird space where all the light switches are, you know. But I've had friends, uh, I think Debbie Allen in, in Chicago, she put her spatula and her spoons on it. So it's got a flex use, y'all. If you like this piece, item number 13, one of our little fun gift items, the power key holder. If you like that piece, item number 13. And so I think we have four of these, four of these, y'all. So if you want that piece, just put item number four and uh, that piece will be coming your way. You know, we got a lot of partners on the show and we're going to be doing a good job of trying to hype those partners. Most of them are framers. The first person we're going to hype is one of my favorite partners here. If you want to go to a really nice gallery here in the, in the, in the DMV, which is the District of Columbia, Maryland, Virginia area, I know you're on the East, you're on the West Coast and you're mad at me, but that's okay. There's a place called Overdue Recognition Gallery, and they we want to give them a slight shot because they frame a lot of my work and we've done a lot of things together. If you get a chance to go to that gallery, you will not be sorry. That's right, y'all, Over Recognition Gallery. If you want to see something like that, just let me know because these folks here, they are really um, some good people. And they Derek happens to be one of the best framers in the neighborhood. And if you don't believe me, here's a picture of the gallery. Tell me that's not beautiful, y'all. So if you get a chance, Over the Recognition in Bowie, item number 14, y'all. Item number 14, we are in the open edition section, y'all. This piece is entitled Behold. Behold is a uh, open edition piece that measures about 27 inches by 14. Nice little height. Uh, based on that, you know, favorite sequence of uh, roots. Behold, the only thing better than yourself. If you like that piece, item number 14, this is Behold. You can get that piece. It normally sells for $35 today. You can get it on Poncho Thon number 39 for just $25. As a matter of fact, all of the pieces in this section you can get for $25. So here you go. Item number 14 and sold. And that piece, Behold, will be coming your way. Item number 15, y'all. Item number 15 is a was done around the same time as Behold. This one is entitled Embrace. Very nice size piece. It's 27 by 27 inches. It's open edition. It normally sells for $40. Embrace shows a woman embracing the child. The man embracing the woman and child. And the environment embracing them all. This piece is entitled Embrace. If you like this piece, just put item number 15 and sold. And Embrace will be added to your collection. Pancho, why are you calling it a collection? Because that's what it is, y'all. You know? What happens is that when I came up, I had my dad's artwork on the wall. So I was different than most people. But when I went to other people's houses, man, I mean, I'm a baby boomer. So I was born in 1962. My parents were born in 1945. We're both baby boomers, right? Because they had me when they were 17. When I went to people's houses, everybody had Martin Luther King. They had uh, Jesus Christ with the ray of light. They had Jesus Christ kneeling. They had, um, I even had a couple of folks who was real hip, had uh, Martin Luther King and JFK in the same picture. But that was the limit of what we had, y'all, back then. Imagine the times that we have now, man. It's just so crazy that we get to see really good, positive uh, representations of who we are. Item number 15, y'all, if you like this piece, just put item number 15 and sold and embrace will be added to your collection. Item number 16. Hey, Calling the, look, y'all. If y'all got some males in the house, you know I hate to preach, but sometimes this thing's all about preaching, y'all. You got young men in your house, and you've been collecting for a while. Who, who knows? You might be a first-time collector. If you are a first-time collector, and if you have collected before, I want you to take the time and walk through your house and count the amount of pieces that you have that have young men displayed in. You know, think about that. So now, if you got a young man in your house, your house is all decked out and you have no pictures that represent him, that's what I want you guys to start doing. I want you to reflect and uh, try to capture the essence of our young men because 
they're having a more challenging time than most people are. Now, they live within a level of fear nowadays with the current climate that we need to start recognizing them and paying homage to them. Uh, we complain about not having men, but we will not take time to embrace the young ones. Hello! All right, y'all. Item number 16. Item number 16 is titled The Vibe. The Vibe. You know, he might not even like The Vibe, but you still want to get it, put it on the wall and make sure he's represented. If you like this piece, it's an open edition that measures 22 by 28. The Vibe normally sells for $40 today on Ponchothon number 39. You can get it for just $25. If you want that piece, put item number 16 and sold, and The Vibe will be coming your way. Item number 17, you know, everybody's talking about diversity and inclusion, diversity and inclusion. Well, you know what? I got an issue with diversity and inclusion, but this piece is called Diversities. It's really celebrating um, the differences within us, not within the world. Because, you know, with diversity, they have now mixed LGBTQ with um, African American and other races. Of course, African American always tends to get the less support in that grouping. Before we were in the civil rights movement, we had a, spe a specific charge ahead. Now we are in this diverse world. So this piece, Diversities, is a celebration of the multitudes of who we are. If you like that piece, just put item number 17 and soul and Diversities will be added to your collection. Item number 18, y'all. All right, y'all, we're getting to some commemorative posters. What I love about the commemorative poster is that you can do two things with that. You can frame it to honor the, the history of what it was done for, because a lot of these were done for different organizations all over the country. Or you can frame right inside the border and have a really wonderful piece, okay? These pieces all normally sell for $40. These, this whole commemorative set, got about a few of them. This one is called the Summer Music Moves Jazz and Dance Festival. This piece is um, 20, what is this? This piece is 19 by 21 inches. 19 by 21. So, you know, it will make a really nice size piece frame if you decide to frame out the copy. Uh, but you got two choices with commemoratives. Okay. Item number 18. If you want that piece, just put item number 18 and sold and the piece. Summer Music Moves Jazz and Dance Festival. Man, if you can say that three times. If you want that piece, just put item number 18 and sold and that piece will be coming your way. Item number 19, y'all. Item number 19 is done. It's called Freedom Fest. This was a commemorative I did for the Underground Museum in, um, man, this is Cincinnati, Ohio, back in 2007. Very popular piece, very popular print. Uh, frames up really nicely. And, you know, not many people know what it was done for. They see the piece individually. But if you like this piece, just put item number 19 and sold. And Freedom Fest will be coming your way. This piece measures 22 by 26. All the pieces in this section are $25. If you want item number 19, put number 19 and sold, and it'll be coming to you. Item number 20 is the Second Street Festival posted from 2008. It features a piece called On the Main Stage. This piece was done for the Second Street Festival. I have done five pieces for the Second Street Festival. This is one of the five. If you like this piece, Got a lot of music going on. Got a lot of action going on. This is item number 20. If you like this piece, just put item number 20 in sold and the Second Street Festival poster from 2008 will be coming your way. Item number 21, y'all. This is the African American Cultural Festival of Raleigh and Wake County official poster. All of these pieces were official posters for different Cultural events and musical events. This was one of my favorite pieces right here. Really nice festival. If you ever get a chance to get down to Raleigh in that time of the year, hopefully the social distancing will begin to ease up a little bit. Uh, check out this festival. You won't be disappointed. Item number 21, if you like this piece, just put item number 21 and sold. It normally sells for $40 today. On Poncho Thon number 39, you can get this piece for just $25, y'all. The African American Cultural Festival of Raleigh and Wake County. If you like that piece, number 21 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number 22, all my folks watching from uh, Philly in the house. That's right, y'all. This piece is done for the uh, West Oak Lane Jazz Festival. 
It was actually done for a gallery called Art Noir. And now I like these because a lot of these galleries are no longer around. A lot of these festivals are no longer around because we went through such an upheaval with the economy in the, in the mid-2000s. But Jazz on Ogons Avenue is a wonderful commemorative piece. If you like that piece, just put item number 22 and sold. And that piece, Jazz on Ogons Avenue, will be coming your way for just $25. Normally, 40 Item number 23. Item number 23, y'all, is a piece done for the West Oak Lane Jazz Festival. and Jazz and Arts Festival. Say that. That was a wonderful festival. It happened on Ogons Avenue. It was a, a, a nice summer festival right in June. It was just when it's hot. They had a mad food section. And, you know, the, you know, Philly is the city of brotherly love. So I missed that festival. That festival, I don't believe, any more exists. But we do have posters to commemorate that thing. So if you like that, item number 23. If you want that piece, the, or piece, the title to the piece is actually the Jazz Dimension. But if you like that piece, just put item number 23. It normally sells for $40. You can get it for $25 on Panchothon number 39. You know, we try to bring things to you at a price that you cannot get it online. You can go to my website now. You know, I'm bragging up a little bit because we got a brand new website. We just launched it last week. In case you haven't had a chance to see it, you can go to LarryPonchoBrown.net. LarryPonchoBrown.net. And you can see uh, how we're trying to up the game a little bit and show you guys some um, some really nice stuff. So get a chance to travel there. Go check it out, y'all. It's going to be wonderful. <laughs> That's right, y'all. We're going to get back to it. Item number 24. Item number 24 happens to be one of my favorite of all of my jazz pieces. It's called uh, Street Songs. Street Songs, was the original, was actually sold uh, last year, as a matter of fact. Um, sometimes you have a little favorite. I do have a couple of little favorites. This was one of them. But this piece was also done for the Second Street Festival and um, in 2009. This is a nice commemorative poster. It also can flex, y'all. You can do it with a mat, without a mat. Either way, you're going to be happy. It's a nice size piece. It's 22 by 26. If you like this piece, just put item number 24 and sold in this piece. Woo! Second Street Festival. This is called Street Songs. If you want that piece, just put 24 and sold. And that piece will be yours for just $25. Normally, $40, y'all. Item number 25. We are switching gears again, y'all. We're out of the commemorative section. I have these gallery packs that I show on the show every now and then. This one, Calling All Deltas, Calling All Deltas, is the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Centennial Collection. It really contains 10 mini prints. 10 8.5 by 11 mini prints. We released this during the 100th anniversary. We happen to have a few of them here in the warehouse. They normally sell for $25, but this is a specialty set. So you can buy one for you, a couple for your sorors. But look how many pieces is in this set. That's right, y'all. You can get 10 pieces in this set. Item number 25. If you like this, put item number 25 and sold. And the Delta Sigma Theta Centennial Collection, they all measure 8.5 by 11, will be coming your way for just 20 I also do a lot of, I've been doing a lot of exhibition catalogs, y'all. So um, this right here is a catalog. I, I did a show in Springfield, Massachusetts. It was entitled Stronger Than Pride, but it housed 30 of my original pieces, which is probably the most, the second largest amount of originals ever shown of my work. Uh, and we did a catalog for it. So this is actually the catalog to the show. If you go to the website, you can actually preview this catalog now. We got links now that you can see the calendar before you buy it, if you like. Item number 26, y'all, is the Stronger Than Pride exhibition catalog. It comes signed by yours truly. Nice memorabilia. Nice for that little coffee table. You got that nice little piece there. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice little piece of thumb through. It's got, man, it's got about 28 pages of art in it. You'll love it. Item number 26. Just put item number 26 in sold, and you can have the Stronger Than Pride catalog for just 
five dollars. Item number 27. We break this out every now and then, y'all, because you know I know all of y'all miss my man. This piece is called The Visions of Our 44th President Collector's Edition. This book is a um, catalog to an exhibition that happened at the Charles Wright Museum in Detroit, okay? About more than 10 years ago, a decade ago. But this book is a really nice collectible, and the price is unbelievable. This book right here normally sells for $35, and we offer it on the shelf for $25. And what it has, it has 44 different renditions of a bust of Obama that was painted by some of the most prominent artists in the country. Yours truly is on page number 26. As a matter of fact, the last bust, number 44, was assigned to myself. And me and my best friend, Charles Bibbs, were going to be selected for the piece. And he didn't want me to lose it. And I didn't want him to lose it. So they asked us if we would collaborate on it. And so it is the only collaboration out of the whole booklet on page number 26, if you get a chance. Item number 27, y'all. If you like that piece, just put item number 27 and sold in the Visions of Our 44th President Collector's Edition book. Um, I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Nice coffee table piece. Item number 27 and sold, and you can have that catalog for just $25, normally $35, but you will not be disappointed. I got something rare, y'all. Item number 28. Now, check this out. Now, I, I, I very seldom show both of these together, but I happen to have maybe five of these posters. These posters measure 24 by 30, okay? They normally sell for anywhere between $40 and $50. If you can find them, they're very, very difficult to find. I only have five of these. Today on Poncho Thon number 39, you can get this poster for just $20. Five dollars, and it has all 44 renditions of the bust on this page, and and it's got some of the toughest artists on the planet that did this piece. So I'm honored to be one of the artists that was selected for this project. I right, number 28, and sold, and the visions of our 44th president poster will be coming your way. Item number 29, y'all, is a piece we bring back every now and then. It's entitled Enlightenment. For all of you people that have these book clubs and you're doing all that reading, this piece is done in honor of you. You know, you look at the sister, she's reading the book, but if you look at her dress, the book and the, and the, the dress patterns look like a bird flying and they all relate. Yes, I thought about all of that when I painted this piece. Enlightenment is the title of it, y'all. I feel what a nice little piece that speaks to something different. Imagine if your child has a piece on the wall of someone reading the impact it may have and the imprint it may have in their lives. Item number 29, y'all. If you like that piece, it normally sells for $40. Today, you can get it for $25. It measures 22 by 26. Item number 29 and sold in that piece will be added to your collection. So how y'all doing out there, y'all? We got a lot of orders out here. Look, people are just responding. Thank you, Kim Yada. Fantastic. We got some um, some some oh, some real supporters in the house. Antoinette Hamilton, how you doing? Melanie's win. What's happening, Melanie? Nice to see you. Um, we got Veronica Charles, my cousin. What's up, Miss Charles? Uh, Marcella Harris Oliver, how are you? She's always been very, very supportive. Mr. Timothy Ham out in the by the man, he's out in the bay. That's my man. But you know what? We also got something for Mr. Uh, Tamp a little later on in the show, too. Pamela Isley, we, you know, she's out there in the cal holding California down. Miss Stevens, how you doing? We got a really good... Garvey Sills used to live up this way. He's down in the Southern Corridor now. How you doing, Garvey? Thanks for participating. Miss Stevens, how are you? Hey, Cheryl Brown Butler is the person that taught me how to do broadcasting live. She don't want to take credit for that. But I used to watch her show. She was selling paparazzi jewelry at the time. And um, I happened to watch her show. I watched like two or three of her shows. And pretty mesmerized at how well she knew the product and uh, what she was doing. So I just took that model and used it for this. And it's changed everything. And what we've done is that we've trained many artists to use this platform to start selling their works during COVID. And it was really a wonderful thing because most artists were very successful in this format. So I thank Ms. Cheryl Brown Butler for stepping forward and sharing her knowledge with me. 
Hey, what's happening, Linda Johnson? She's doing. She's been a good follower too. Item number twenty-nine. Y'all, we're gonna keep it moving. Item number thirty. Item number thirty. We in the shirts, y'all. You know, it's warming up outside now, right? We released this shirt, the BLM shirt. We released this last summer, and it is pre-spring. I released it during the time when all the marches were going on, and I just wanted folks to be able to wear something and not say a word and get it. And I felt like doing something, but I didn't know what I was going to do. This is uh, what came out of it. This piece is the BLMT. Now, y'all, I have some shirts that do not appeal to smaller people. I'm very, very sorry. I can I apologize now. With our retro T line, the work is the artwork is so large on it that they won't fit on mediums. But this particular shirt does come medium large, extra large, two XL and three XL. And I will tell you, on Poncho Thong, we don't charge extra for XXLs. Now, when you go to my website, we charge extra, but on Poncho Thong, we do not. If you like this piece, it's almost springtime. It's gonna be warm tomorrow, y'all. Order number thirty and sold. And the BLMT will be coming your way. Item number 31. Bringing it back from the summer, y'all. We released these last summer also. I wish we had them in the spring, but we have them in the spring this time. This is the Jinyame Rhythm shirt. This piece also comes medium, large, XL, 2XL, 3XL. If you like this shirt and we did really well with this tie that shirt people i mean i i i this summer i saw two or three people wearing them it's amazing the tees all sell for 25 dollars the blm t normally sells for 35 dollars today on punchathon 39 you can get both t-shirts for 25 dollars each okay item number 30 the blm t sells for 25 dollars normally 30. And the Jinyame Rhythms Tea sells for $25 today, normally $35. If you want that piece and you want to flex, this is the one to do it in. You know what? If you ain't got no rhythm and you wear this, it makes you have rhythm. I'm, I'm not lying to you. I wouldn't lie to you. You put this shirt on with some black leggings and all of a sudden, I'm just kidding. Item number 31, y'all. If you want that piece, just put item number 31 and sold. And the Jinyame Rhythms t-shirt will be coming your way. All right, you know, spring is going to be here real soon, y'all. We released these last, I think, in the summertime as well. But we're going to be ready for y'all for the spring. These pieces right here are garden art pieces. This piece is titled the Sankofa Spirit Garden Art. It's actually art that's printed on a metal material, and you can put that, you see the stake on the bottom? You take that and you put it in the front with your flowers. You can put it in a flower pot. These measure about 14 inches in height from the bottom of the stake to the top of the head. Really, really nice for your yard. We did very, very well with these this summer. If you like this piece, just put item number 32 and sold. And the Sankofa Spirit Garden Art. We call these the Garden Art Small because we do have one that is much larger than this. We'll probably show those in a couple more weeks. But for item number 32, if you want that piece, it normally sells for $40. The day you can get that piece for $35. The Garden Spirit, I mean the Garden Art Small, Sankofa Spirit, item number 32, and sold. But wait, there was another one. Item number 33. This is the Senko, I mean, the Sister's Journey Garden Art Small. It also measures 14 inches, normally sells for $40, but on Poncho Thon 39, you can get this piece for just $35. $35, y'all. And you will set it off. Your neighbor's going to, you know, your neighbor's going to wonder where you got it from. Hopefully, they won't come take it from you, you know, but um, they're going to harass you a little bit. Item number 33. You want to liven up your yard? Your house is already alive. Here you go. Item number 33 and sold. And Sister's Journey, the Garden Art Small, will be yours for just $35. All right, y'all. You know, we got a lot of stuff here. Hope you guys can handle it all because, you know, we, we are trying to really keep you guys abreast of what's hot. Keep you abreast of some things that'll make your place look wonderful. I know all of you all were trapped in the house for the last year. Probably got a chance to see your house in a way you never saw it before over this last couple of months. 
But um, these pieces are all designed with you in mind. Art is everything and everywhere. And we're, it's, we're wonderful living in a time where we can produce art on just about anything. And so we're going to be pressing and continue introducing you to some stuff. And all you got to do is tune into the right place. <laughs> Now, you know, uh, we are celebrating a, a milestone, um, a big milestone, as a matter of fact. This is our 36th year in the art business, y'all, the 36th year. So clap it up, y'all, for us. We are still in the game, and uh, we appreciate you guys supporting us. But, yeah, we are celebrating our 36th year. <laughs> For those of you just tuning in and you didn't see the rest of the show, here you go. These are the That's right, y'all. Love my city. I'm from Baltimore, y'all. We hailing from Baltimore. This piece right here, item number 34, y'all. This right here is a wonderful book. It's um, actually the art collection of a dear friend of mine named Dr. Sheila Wright. I actually, me and my design team designed this book for her. It's a, a almost two-year-long process for her to put this collection together. It's a wonderful book. If you are a budding collector, even if you have, uh, if, 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 I don't care what level you're on, whether you're entry level, whether you collected before, whether you consider yourself to be the master, this book right here is a great guide to get you some pointers on how to acquire works in a different way. And she happens to do a lot of art auctions, so the information on how she approaches collecting is in this book. And it has a um, um, master's works in it as well as contemporary works in it i may have about four pieces is featured in the book but this is a great coffee table book if you are into collecting art and you want to be blown away and motivated order the wondrous works book this book right here measures nine by 12 it's over almost 200 pages in this collection if you want this book and you want a nice coffee table book this is the book item number 34 y'all if you want this piece, just put item number 34 and sold. This book normally sells for $45. You can go online right now and see that number in the hundreds because people are reselling this book. If you want that book, put item number 34 and sold. And you can have the Wondrous Works Collector's Book for just $40 on Poncho Thon number 39. Excellent, excellent, excellent reference for those of you that have want to be inspired with your collection because you know. The work you buy, you're just holding on to for a while. Everything in this room behind me, you see all that work behind me, but actually belongs to my son. Once I finish it and sign it, if I don't sell it, it belongs to him. And that's what's going to happen to your collection too. So I want you to think about your collection as you start moving forward and the power that it has. Because you know, none of us, our parents didn't have that mindset. It's a different world now. So now you can acquire works that appreciate in price. It's a magical time for you and your children, but it makes you want to focus on what you collect and how you collect. This book will help guide the way for you. Item number 34 and sold, and this book will be coming your way. Item number 35, y'all. We got to give some black love every now and then, y'all. Black love. I know. I'm sorry. I can't help it. The piece is entitled Warm Places, y'all. Item number 35. This is a limited edition. We are in the limited edition section now, y'all. This piece measures 19 by 27 inches. It comes with an, another mate, but it's not on the show today. This one is entitled Warm Places. If you like this piece, just put item number 35 and sold. And Warm Places will become yours. Now, you know what? Back in the 80s, it was very difficult to, shit, to sell a nude. In the 90s, it was very difficult in the early 90s to sell a nude. By the late 90s, you could do a little something, but you still had to be careful. 
Now is 2021. Folks buying all kinds of stuff now. So this was piece was put out at a time when nobody and most people were afraid to buy noobs. Okay. Item number 35, Warm Places. If you like this piece, put item number 35 and sold, and that piece will be added to your collection. Item number 36 is a piece we call the Spirit of Fatherhood. Now, I talked to you earlier about young men. I could even extend that to men, period, because for a while, most art was women or women and children. Very few had full nuclear families. I um, purposely did pieces that had males in them. This is one of them, the Spirit of Fatherhood. If you like that piece, it normally sells for $90. All of my limited editions are about to appreciate in price. And that's going to be, probably be happening before uh, the summer months hit. But this piece right now, you can get it for $75. But today on Poncho Thon 39, item number 36, it's just $50. All of the pieces in this section and even warm places, the piece prior to this one sells for $50 on Poncho Thon number 39. All come with a certificate of authenticity. This is an 850 edition. And so was warm places, an 850 edition. If you like this piece, put item number 36 and sold. And this piece will be coming your way. Item number 37, y'all, is a piece we call Praise the Lord with Gladness. It is a nice spiritual piece done for a church here in Maryland. A lot of these pieces that in the limited edition section were actually commissions for other or nonprofit organizations or organizations to assist them with fundraising. So you get two for number 37. If you like that piece, needs something a little spiritual in your wall, just put item number 36 and sold and praise the Lord with gladness will be coming your way. Item number 38, y'all, is a piece called Community Heritage Service. It was actually created because people wanted people to take pride in their neighborhood, so they wanted me to create a piece that would inspire that. Uh, Delta Sigma Theta was behind this piece, um, but it's it's a, a really nice piece if you and if you you know sometimes you have to think about your office, think about the pieces you gift, think about the subjects you su you submit. Community Heritage Ser Service is the title of this piece, item number thirty eight. If you like this piece, just put item number 38 and sold and that piece will be coming your way so how y'all feeling out there man what is going on how are you navigating through this stuff how you doing with your shots all that other stuff you know earlier i mentioned mr timothy hamp he has a gallery in the bay area if you because i don't want to leave my west coast folks out are looking for somebody to handle your framing y'all Please check out Mr. Hamp. He has it going on. Gotta have it artworks, y'all. That's right. If you want some framing done in the Bay Area, he is the guy to see. Does great work, great prices. But for those of you that are new to the show, Please understand, we need one thing from you. That's right. Put to place the number and the item number and the word sold, and we will get your stuff to you. Now, you know we work on the honor system around here. Huh? You know, the honor system is just, um, if you put the number and the word sold, um, it's coming to you. It's that simple. It's coming to you. But... In order for it to come to you, you also have to do something else. And this is what I need you to do. That's right, y'all. Inbox me your email address and your shipping address so we can keep the party started. This is item number 39, y'all. Item number 39 is a piece we call A Legacy of Love and Learning. A Legacy of Love, of love and Learning. It was done for an organization in Philadelphia. My godson actually attended this academy. If you like this piece, just put item number 39. It normally sells for $75, but today you can get this piece for just $50. Comes with a certificate of authenticity. It is an 850 edition. Item number 39 and sold. If you like that piece, just put item number 39 and sold, and it'll be coming both ways. 
That's right, y'all. Item number 40. We talked about that young man thing earlier, but this is it. If you don't have a piece and you, okay, I'm a little ahead. I don't, I haven't seen nothing I like. Um, that, that, that doesn't resonate with me. Hopefully this one does. This one's entitled Saving Our Sons. I'm going to let you marinate on the title for a minute. That's right, y'all. Saving Our Sons. That's the title of the piece. Item number 40. It's 850 edition, y'all. You can get this piece. It's normally $120. You can get this piece. It measures 22 by 28 inches. Today on Punchathon number 39, you can get this piece for just $50. This piece is entitled Saving Our Sons. If you need a piece that is going to depict young black men, this is the piece. Item number 40 and sold, and this piece will be added to your collection. Hey, y'all, we got some other folks tuning in out there. We got Warren Dobson. He's out. Where is Warren from? Is Warren from Chicago? I can't remember. I haven't seen Mr. Warren in so long. What's up, Jackie? Oh, she's talking about she got her doses or her vaccine. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's right, Terry Mack. We can't stay in the same place. That's right, y'all. We keep trying to make little changes to make sure a little interesting. Tell your friends. That's what you can do to help me. We got about 35 or 40 people watching right now. That's fantastic. We're going to keep the party moving. Item number 41. If you want a piece that's deep, this is a piece. If you look at it, you see the two parents looking towards the future and the child looking towards the past. And I like that duality of both of those things. Um, this piece is titled Transcendence. It was actually done for the Association of Black Psychologists in Washington, D.C. Very wonderful piece. Got a lot of little symbolism in it if you study it. Um, it's got a dinkle symbols in it. It's got some comedic symbols in it. It's got the kentacloth patterns in it. It's got a little bit of everything. It's even got a map of Africa in it. If you like this piece, item number 41. Just put item number 41 in sold and transcendence. Transcendence will be coming your way for just $50, normally $95. It measures 22 by 27 inches. That's right, y'all. If you like that piece, put item number 41 in sold, and we will be getting it in your collection. Item number 42. That's right, y'all. This one is entitled Another Diversity Piece. This was done at, for a multicultural office at uh, McDaniel College. They, they commissioned me to do this piece to bring attention to the diversity department, which I was very in, in, uh, uh, involved in, in um, doing. If you want that piece, Item number 42. It's entitled Indivisible. This piece is about to be pulled because it's almost sold out. It's an 850 edition. It normally sells for $95. Today on Punchathon number 39, you can get this piece for just $50. Indivisible. If you're not, you need a nice diversity piece for your office, for wherever, this is the piece right here because it really talks about all other races where most of my pieces really deal with the different shades of black people. So it's a little bit different. Item number 42 and sold. If you like that piece, just put sold and 42 and it will be added to your collection. Item number 43, y'all. We are in on the last seven pieces. Item number 43 is a piece we call Release Me, y'all. Release Me. Release Me is um, normally sells for $95. It's a 1500 edition. This piece has metallic silver printed on it, too. Measures 24 by 30 inches, y'all. I'm into the men today, y'all. I have days when I'm into family, days when I'm into the, to women. I try to theme the show out a little bit. This one is called Release Me. So pertinent for the times that we're living in. This piece is an older piece, but it speaks to where we are today. Release Me. It's deep, y'all. Item number 43. If you like that piece, just put item number 43 and sold and release me will be coming your way. Item number 44. For those of you who need a large, substantial spiritual piece in your house, this piece was actually created for faith-based organizations in the Baltimore, uh, Washington area. If you like this piece, it's entitled Windows of Faith. Big, big piece, y'all. This is for you, those of you that need a sofa size piece. The print measures 27 by 36 inches, y'all. It's a very, very large piece. By the time you put three inches of mat and two or three inches of frame, you'll have a wonderful, colorful piece in your house. This piece normally sells for $125. Today, you can get this piece for just $75. If you like this piece, put number 44 and sold 
and windows of faith will be coming your way. That's right, y'all. We're getting down to the last five pieces. And when we do that, you know, I do have a circle of friends. My circle of friends is um, Charles Bibbs and it's about everybody in the business. But this piece, I try to put a little circle of friends piece. I'm going to do a whole show devoted to my circle of friends uh, coming up soon. This piece is entitled Ebony Number 7 by Charles Bibbs. This piece measures 22 by 26 inches. It's really a nice piece because not only is it full color, but it has a clear coating that's silk screened on top of it. Very, very nice textural piece. If you need a little color, a little movement in your house, by my buddy, Mr. Charles Bibbs. If you like this piece, put item number 45. Item number 45 and sold in this piece. And I may only have five of these available. If you want this piece, put item number 45 and sold by Mr. Charles Bibbs, ebony number seven. Just put number 45 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. All right, you'll be getting to the bigger stuff now. We're getting to the end of the show. We got a couple pieces left. The last three pieces of the show are all original pieces. We have about 45 people watching tonight. Fantastic. Thank you for tuning in. Please tell a friend. Nothing would freak me out more than having 80 people on next week. <laughs> but see if you can do that for me. Tell a friend. Share the opportunity. If you had a chance to partake in the sales today, share that opportunity with some of your friends. Item number 46. Is a piece I call The Guardian. It's part of my Black Angel series. This piece is um, it's a pretty nice size piece. It's 27 by 30 inches. It's a, a 1500 edition. It's the second of my Angel series. Uh, this piece, um, what can I say? For the longest time, if you look at most Bibles and most uh, uh, religious um, artifacts, you very rarely see a Black Angel that looks like us. That's how this whole series got started. I wanted some angels that look like us. I like to think when that day comes for me that it's not going to be, uh, well, I'm not going to get that deep, but you know what I'm saying. I think you should look a little bit like me. Item number 46. That's the, that's what happens when you're an artist. You can just, if you feel it and you will it and you can depict it, then you go. Hey, think about it, y'all. Don't get mad at me for doing a black angel. The picture of Jesus that we look at is not, it's, it, it's a model that's been depicted by artists through that period of time. And we bought a hook, line, and sinker, the blue eyed, blonde haired uh, version of Jesus, which we know is now by geography is nearly impossible. So, those of you that are offended by a dark angel, you might need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Item number 46, y'all, is a piece called The Guardian. If you like this piece, you want to add this to your collection. This piece normally sells for $400, y'all. We only have five available for the show, okay? $400. Today on Punchathon 39, you can get this piece for $150. If you like that piece, put item number 46 and sold, and that piece will be added to your collection. Item number 47 is something I bring back every now and then. It's a G clay print. Pancho, what's a G clay print? A G clay print is a digitally plotted piece. I have a, if you know, you got your printer at home. It's got the inkjet with the four colors in it. Well, if you can imagine a space shuttle version of that with nine cartridges in it, and that's what a G clay machine is. It can print on multiple substrates. It can come in paper, canvas, mylar, you name it. It can be printed on. I specifically print on uh, watercolor paper and canvas but this piece right here is a watercolor piece it measures 24 by 30 inches caress me you know what we sell a lot of caress me's women just are celebrating who they are and this piece is as some reason it resonates with them i'm glad it does this piece is called caress me the g clay if you want this piece it normally sells for 400 dollars. but today on poncho thon Number 39, you can get Caress Me for just $200, y'all. $200. If you want that piece, put number 47 and sold. It's a 62 edition. Why 62, Ponjo? Well, I just told you I was born in 1962. I know, I do strange stuff like that. Item number 47 and sold, and that piece, Caress Me, 
will be added to your collection. This is a very wonderful collection, uh, collectible piece. So we are down to the last three pieces. Everything after this point as originals, y'all. Get ready. <laughs> Before I show you these pieces, I'm going to just give you some ground rules for this now because, you know, we have to go by timestamp. So on all of the uh, places where you're placing comments, whenever you put your comment in, a time comes up. So these are one-of-a-kind pieces you've recently created this January during a creative quarantine I did with a group of 12 other artists. These are brand new originals. All of them are mixed media. Um, these pieces generally sell anywhere between $1,500 and $1,800 when they're in the gallery circuit. But because we're selling them before they're released, you're getting a special price today. Pay attention because I'm not going to stay on it long. If you sleep, you will, you will lose out. These are original pieces, one of a kind. There are no other pieces like these. These pieces probably will not be reproduced. I will give you the preface on it before we get started. Here we go, y'all. Item number Forty-eight is an ink and acrylic piece I call Face Her Beauty. It's an original piece. It measures eight and a half by 12 inches. Okay. Face Her Beauty is a nice collectible piece. If you're looking for small originals, and I happen to be a person that collects small originals. I have a collection of about, who Lord. I mean, if I told you, y'all gonna think I'm exaggerating. I have over 200 small originals by different artists, okay? And I've been collecting artists trade with one another and I've been buying them because when I go to shows, people are looking at other things. This piece, item number 48, is called Face Her Beauty, the original. Normally sells for $950, unframed. Today on Punchothon, you can get this for $450. The first person to chime in on this will own this piece item number 48 and sold and that piece face her beauty will be coming your way item number 49 is part of my new face series these are abstract faces using textures i wanted to do something that was going to stare you in the face and make you just want to check yourself <laughs> item number 49 y'all this one is called Fusca. It is an African word that means face. It is made of mixed media. You see a lot of textures, texture paper, acrylic. That This is a dimensional piece. So where it looks, the nose, the lips, and the mouth are raised on this particular piece. Fusca is 8.5 by 12. It normally sells for 8.50, I mean 9.50 unframed. For Punchathon number 39, you can get this piece for just four hundred and fifty dollars if you want this original piece you'll have the only one part of my new mask and face series item number 49 and sold and this piece fusca will be coming your way our last piece for today y'all is item number 50 item number 50 was just a piece i was having fun on it was actually i have i paint on black paper when i'm making and i make palettes i mix my colors on these palettes and after a while, I accumulate these palettes. And for a long time, I was taking these palettes and I was throwing them away. Well, this time I decided to take this palette and make something into it. This piece is titled The Artist. The Artist. It's original. This is a dimensional piece. It looks flat here. But when you get this piece, you'll see uh, really a, a, one of my actual palettes that I've created and painted on. Item number 50 is called The Artist. The Artist number one, as a matter of fact. It normally sells for $950. The first person to chime in will get this piece for $450. Only on Poncho Thon number 39, y'all. If you like this piece and want to add it to your collection, just make sure you touch base with me. This piece will be coming your way. For those of you that have been watching the show, I really, oh, thank you, Carol. Great. You got a really, really nice piece. You know, we're trying to do some different things around here, y'all. So I'm glad you guys are, are, are making some responses to some of the things we're trying to do. Um, we will continue to try to raise the bar around the show and try to keep you guys interested. Please tell some folks so they can uh, chime in on the show because we are celebrating what year? Our 36th year. And we are, if you want to know what's happening the rest of the month, this is what's going on.
That's right, y'all. That's the end of the show. We want to thank you for tuning in. We will be back again next Wednesday. That shows you our whole schedule for the month. We'll have a whole new lineup. This was a total different lineup than last week. We'll continue to bring you some new stuff. And until next time, y'all, we will see you next Wednesday.